in this session, we are going to discuss about arithmetic means. Let us define first what is arithmetic mean or means. So, it is the term or terms between any two consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. Meaning, arithmetic means are middle numbers or number. Okay? Depende kung ilan ang gitna. So, syempre, kapag isa ang gitna, mean lang. Pag dalawa o tatlo o higit pa, means yun. Alright? May S. So, let us have an example. So, these all examples are arithmetic sequence. Now, let us identify what are the arithmetic mean or means of the given um, sequence. Let us have the first one. We have 2, 4, and then 6. So, the arithmetic mean in this case, we have here 4. So, ang tawag lang dyan ay arithmetic mean. So, walang s. Kasi isa lang siya. Isa lang yung kanyang needle number. Is it clear? So, si arithmetic mean is a needle number or numbers. Number 2, we have 5, 8, 11, and then 14. So, what are the arithmetic means? R, kasi marami tayong gitna. We have here 8 and 11. So, this is your arithmetic means. So, with S naman tayo. Kasi dalawa yung lumabas na arithmetic means. Yung pinaka middle numbers. Number 3, we have 7, 10, 13, 16, and 19. So, the arithmetic means here are 10, 13, and 16. So, this is your arithmetic mean. So, ganun lang kasimple kumuha ng arithmetic mean or arithmetic means. So, what if solving na tayo? Let us have an example. Solve the following. Number 1, find the missing term. We have a given of 13 blank and then 27. So, we have one missing arithmetic mean. So, for us to find the missing arithmetic mean of this case, we are going to um, use averaging. So, how do we find the average of a number? So, for us to find the average of the number, we are going to add 13 plus 27, then divide it into 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So, let us add 13 plus 27. The answer here is 40. Then, divide it into 2. The answer is 20. Tapos na. So, that is the missing na, missing term. We have here 20. So, ganun lang kasimple kapag isa lang ang arithmetic mean na nawawala. Find the average of the two given numbers. Alright? So, add lang the two numbers, then divide it into two. So, that is now your um, arithmetic mean. We have here 20. How will you check if your answer is correct? Kung ang kanyang common difference ay pare-parehas. If you subtract 20 to 13, the answer is 7. If you subtract 27 minus 20, the answer is 7. Therefore, we have the same common difference. Your answer is correct. Is it clear? Now, let's move with the second example. Number 2. Insert 3 arithmetic means between 17 and 1. Meaning, mag ka ng tatlong arithmetic means sa gitna ni 17 and 1. So, this is 17. 17 is your first term. Na mawala si second term, third, at saka si fourth. Kasi tatlong arithmetic mean yung, yung i-insert. Then, we have here 1. So, since meron kang pinakagitna dito, pwede natin niya makuha by using averaging pa rin. So, we have here 17 plus 1 divided by 2. The answer here is 18 divided by 2. It is equal to 9. Therefore, ang gitna mo dito ay 9. So, that's your third term. Next. So, meron ka na ditong first term at saka third term. So, pwede mo makuha ulit si second term by using averaging ulit. So, we have here 17 plus 9. Divided by by 2. So, 17 plus 9, we have here 26. Then, divided by 2, the answer here is 13. So, this is your second term. We have here 13. Then, para makuha mo naman yung dito sa ating fourth term, yung third at fifth term naman yung i-average mo. So, you have here 9 plus 1 divided by 2. So, 9 plus 1, we have 10 divided by 2. The answer here is 5. So, we have here 5. So, the 3 missing arithmetic means is 13, 9, and then 5. 
Okay? So, yan yung isang way para makuha mo yung three arithmetic means. So, there is another way pa po. We need to find for the common difference. Pwede mong kuhanin si common difference for us to find 39 and 5. So, how is it? So, meron ka ng first term. Ang first term mo ay si 17. Ang last term mo, which is A sub N, we have here 1. And the number of terms are involved is we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang N mo ay 5. Then, use the formula. A sub N is equals to A sub 1 plus quantity N minus 1 times D. Your last term, we have here 1. Just write here 1. Your first term, we have here 17. Plus, ang N mo ay 5 minus 1 multiplied by D. Ayan. Then, simplify natin. So, we have here 1. Lipat may 17 minus 17 dito is equal to. So, this one is um, uh, 5 minus 1. We have 4. Times D, we have 4D. Next, 1 minus 17, that is negative 16, is equal to 4D. Then, divide both sides by 4, by 4, cancelled out. Ang D mo dito ay negative 4. Ayan, may common difference ka na. Since may common difference ka na, pwede mo na itong isubtract na lang dito. 17 minus 4, answer is 13. Kuha mo na. 13 minus 4, the answer is 9. 9 minus 4, the answer is 5. Then, 5 minus 4, the answer is 1. Did you get it? So, we have two ways dito. Pwedeng kuhanin mo si common difference or pwede namang averaging lang na averaging. Basta nakakakita ka ng gitnang nawawala at yung kanyang pinagigitnaan ay meron pang numbers para makuha mo yung kanyang average. Is it clear? Let's have another example. Number three. Find four arithmetic means between 21 and negative 24. So, ngayon, apat na arithmetic means naman. So, 21, then we have here 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have negative 24. So, ang nawawala natin ay si 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th term. Okay? So, in this case, kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong may pinakagitnang number dito. So, hindi natin makukuha to by using averaging. So, ang gagamitin natin, we are going to find for the... Find the common difference. Since meron tayong first term at saka last term. So, for us to find the common difference, find the common difference, we have here the first term. Ang first term mo, we have here 21. Ang last term natin, we have here negative 24. Then, how many number of terms are involved? Just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have here 6. And then, D is missing. Ayan. Now, let us have your formula. We have a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d. Ang last term mo, we have here negative 24. Just write here negative 24. Ang first term mo, we have here 21. Plus quantity, how many number of terms are involved? We have 6 minus 1 multiplied by d. Right? Then, transpose na natin si 21. So, it becomes negative. Just copy negative 24, then minus 21 equals 6 minus 1, we have here um, 5 times D, the answer is 5D. Next, this one you will just add kasi same sign sila, so negative. So 24 plus 21, the answer is negative 45. So it is equals to 5D. Then divide both sides mo na lang by 5, by 5. Therefore, your common difference, we have negative 45 divided by 5. The answer is negative 9. Ayan na. Since may negative 9 ka dyan, add mo lang doon. 21 plus negative 9. So, 21 plus negative 9, ang sagot dito ay 12. 12 minus 9 ulit, the answer here is 3. 3 minus 9 ulit, the answer is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 9, the answer is... Um, negative 15. O, oh, pag pinlad mo ulit yan sa so negative 9, the answer is negative 24. So, now, we already find the 4 arithmetic means between 21 to negative 24. Is it clear? So, kapag 3 terms ang hinahanap mo, pwede siya yung averaging. Pero kapag halimbawa 2 terms ang hinahanap mo, 4 terms, and then, 5th terms, 6th terms, ang gawin mo na, find mo na yung common difference. 
pa. So, pag nakuha mo na yung common difference, add mo na lang dun sa naunang term. Add lang ng add hanggang sa makuha mo sila lahat. Take care? Let us have the last example. Number 4. Insert 5 arithmetic means between 10 and 40. So, sumobra-sobra na naman siya. So, find na lang natin si common difference niya para mas na madali tayo. So, meaning dito, we have your 10, then insert ka ng 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Then, we have here 40. Alright? Now, let us find the common, uh, common difference. So, you're given here, your first term, A sub 1, we have here 10. Your last term, we have here 40. How many number of terms are involved? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have here 7. And we need to find for the common difference. So, your formula again, we have A sub n equals to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by D. So, your last term, we have here 40 is equal, your first term, we have here 10, plus quantity, ang n mo ay 7 minus 1 multiplied by d. Then, you are going to transpose here, we have here 40. So, 10 becomes negative, so 40 minus 10. 40 minus 10 is it equal to, then we have 7 minus 1 which is 6 multiplied by D which is 6D. Ayan. So, 40 minus 10, we have here 30 is equals to 6D. Then, you are going to divide both sides by 6 and then by 6. Therefore, your D is equals to 5. So, 30 divided by 6, the answer is 5. So, since we have now your common difference, add mo na lang doon. 10 plus 5, 15. Plus 5, we have here 20. Plus 5, we have here 25. Plus 5, we have here 30. Plus 5, we have here 35. We add it up, we have here 40. So, these are the 5 arithmetic means between 10 and 40. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kasimple para makuha yung, yung arithmetic means or means. Find the common difference, then add mo lang doon sa pinakauna nating term. Is it clear? Hope meron kayong natutunan for this day. So, thank you for listening.